I think, yeah, one step back is I think focus will help. So um, I know attention is currently spread over a lot of different crops. Eh? So many different parties talk about many different potential crops for protein. Mm -hmm. While it might maybe wise to choose a spearhead crop, I would say. Um, so could we grow European soya, pea, faba, or fungi in Europe, cost effectively, minimally processed? to make nice tasting product that consumers actually buy. That would be the holy grail of protein transition. And, but it needs to come with a choice. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, one, one, one other unique benefit of plant protein, if you've cracked one, uh, you've chosen for one, is a unique benefit compared to meat or dairy, is that in principle you could obtain longer shelf life which would make these options even more sustainable than they already are because it reduces packaging, food waste, etc. So I'd like to emphasize this uh, and I'm really looking forward to technologies that enhance this, this feature specifically. So those are the two things that come to mind uh, uh, at first. Uh. Yeah, I would say, of course, yeah, like you say, Michelle, the, the focus, I would also say the funding, of course, for doing more research. I mean, I'm uh, I'm situated in Denmark. We spent the last, I think, 200 years researching in how to uh, how to uh, grow or how to breed pigs and how to uh, to produce dairy, right? So we need to really catch up in this field. So we need a lot of research in how to make these. Um, first of all, as you say, Matthias, what are the crops? We don't have to take the commodities. We have to develop brand new. Um, cultivars of the crops that are that are aiming at the food that they are going to be instead of just being mm -hmm. aimed at, at being uh, feed and then we also have to develop the the right products that the consumers will uh, will take up so i think there's a lot of, of research need and for that we need yeah focus and funding i would say yeah it might be wise to, to spend a bit of research on holistic studies eh? so meta-analysis of different crops and uh, that should allow you to to see whether certain crops are more efficient than others or uh, have a high chance to succeed and then you have different criteria like nutrition or growth speed or or whatever uh, and in principle that, that's a science by itself and it, that those are very interesting studies to start and then you can all agree there's a top three or top four that is most suitable for, for middle Europe, uh, for instance. And then you could focus all your attention on getting new breeds or improved breeds of those, uh, which can make, really make a difference. If you spread the attention to lots of different crops and everybody is trying to find his own niche of, of a certain crop, then you'll be fighting against each other. And 90% and, and of those crops will not hit the market ultimately because they are in a worse position than the 10% that are at the top at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So focus is to me is, is, is key. I think it's connected to the to the overall goal of Denmark being uh, uh, CO2 uh, neutral by 2050, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. And the government in Denmark realized that we need to put some specific funding for the plant-based area to really drive this forward. Uh, so now they're just consolidating who is uh, who is managing this these funds and everything. But there's a lot of of, of research money now put forward for this uh, to really accelerate this, and I think also at a European level we should we should try to do the same and focus on the plant-based research, and not just uh, adapting the. I, I hope there's not a lot of Americans here, but not just adapting something from overseas, but also <laughs> having Europe as a driver in this in this uh, in this new field. Um, and what we've seen in Denmark now, it's a start. It's not, there's still a lot of uh, research money, of course, going into the traditional areas. And that's because it's also a, a big part of the income of uh, of Denmark as, as such. So that's, of course, mm -hmm. this is, we can't change it overnight, but we need to put some focus on it. And I, I think what you say, Michelle, about choosing some specific crops, if we could do it in a clever way and trying to breed our mm -hmm. way into how will they function very good for foods would be a, a good way forward. Yeah, I think things take energy and time eh? and meat and dairy have, have been around for a long time. And if mm. uh, 
uh, let's t uh, if you talk about the Wageningen ecosystem where I'm in, there's lots of knowledge around desiccating all sorts of ingredients in, in dairy protein, for instance, huge amount of knowledge. Before you arrive at that point with the plant protein, you have to spend a lot of energy. And I, on I only think soya is close to that, and that's why soya is applied in so many so many areas, because it's just a lot of knowledge. And if you now sp spread the investment over gaining knowledge over 30 new crops, basically you will get nowhere in, in, in a period of five years time because you're competing with such a vast amount of knowledge in the other areas like um, like uh, soya and uh, and dairy. Yes, I, would, I, think, I think what Michelle said is very um, important. I think um, it's clear that there is a research gap for for many of these, what, what we call niche crops, right? We have been focusing also in Europe when you look at breeding, uh, and see uh, this eyes here from Euroseeds, most of the investment in breeding have gone into very few crops like wheat, corn and some other some of the other crops. Um, and there was very little investment in other, for example, leguminous crops or other possible uh, protein crops. And as Michelle said, and I think it's very correct, you cannot, if you spread it basically over all crops, you will get nowhere. So it, it, there is a strategic need to define a, a couple of crops that we want to invest in in Europe and, and try to upscale them. And there's a need for public investment in this part, especially in the beginning, to close the research gap in functionality for this uh, for these uh, smaller crops. Yeah. So we need to focus in some areas. I mean, and mm -hmm. and Focus has to be regional. It, it's also a little bit of a problem sometimes in European investment. There were always calls for, for all of Europe, but they're totally different agronomic zones. If you think about Greece, for example, and Denmark, you have totally different um, agronomic conditions. So you have to have a regional approach and say, OK, we could grow, I don't know, this uh, two or three or four crops. And then there's a need for investment, strategic investment in these crops that link the processors and the breeders because they don't speak the same languages. You know, it's, we had these meetings and it's very interesting uh, when, when the leaders ask the, the, the food industry, what do you really need, you know, and, and they really don't understand each other yet. You know, there's a lot of work to be done in the middle, linking breeders and the food industry together and, and making strategic choices. And I think that the European Commission also has to um, um, try to think in an in a agronomic zone or regional approach, because it doesn't make sense to call for new proteins for all of Europe, because that doesn't lead anywhere. We need to focus on zones. Let's say, I don't know, Poland uh, and Denmark and southern Sweden and so on could be clustered together, maybe. And then mm -hmm. other regions, uh, and then you need different, and, and then there will be different um, different uh, crops that we can produce there. And then we need to invest in, in, the, in, in, the, in, the, in the crops, in the breeding and in the research. Because most breeders, they just analyze uh, protein and say, okay, I have so much protein. But what kind of protein do they have? What functionality does the protein have? What is about solubility? Mm -hmm. All of these questions. Mm -hmm. um, the breeding industry needs to also learn and uh, and interact with the food industry okay. more. 